What's up everyone? In today's video, we're going to learn how to get rid of the show menu hamburger menu you see on the Laurel theme on your WordPress blog or website and get that old menu back. If you learned anything here or if you liked the video, please subscribe and please make sure to rate the video. That would help me a ton. So I received this comment from Gerald who said, great tutorial about the theme and it seems like they've updated it. So now you get the show menu. I don't really like it. I understand. Totally. I don't like it either. How does one change the menu similar to one you're making in the video? Now it's hard to see that menu similar to the one from the video that Gerald is talking about because I'm on one of those outdated 11 inch MacBook Airs and a lot of us are unfortunately limited to just one computer. But what you can do is open up ScreenFly at quirktools.com forward slash ScreenFly and test how the menu would look on bigger screens. And it looks like anything bigger than a 15 inch notebook is going to have that main menu that we like looking at, but for some reason 15 inch, which is pretty big, collapses to a mobile menu. This is an outstanding, very well designed theme for a lot of different niches, but I would criticize this one feature. I think that menu should be the hamburger at a much smaller size and not start at 15. Anyways, if you have a laptop and you want to get the old menu back, you're going to need to use some custom CSS. Open up your customize window, just click customize. And unfortunately, we can't change the menu display in the normal um, header customize area. It's just not here. So we want to go to custom CSS. And then you're going to need to target the hamburger menu as we see it here and get rid of it. And then you're going to need to target the wide menu as we see right here and show it. If you want to do this manually and find the right code, just open up this theme in any window and then right click it. All right and inspect. And then you're going to go ahead and look at where the menu is. So on the upper right, we can see that there's a slick mobile menu and then there's a nav wrapper. Not very well labeled, but as they are side by side, we have one called nav wrapper, which is the main menu on a widescreen. And we have one called slick mobile menu, not sure why it's slick, which is the menu on a mobile device. You only see one of them at a time and we just want to flip so we see a different one on our computer here and then choose how wide it is. So what we're going to do is go to customize and what we're going to write is a little mobile CSS query. So you're going to start with at media only screen and in parentheses min width then whatever width you want this to start applying at. So you could go with like 720 pixels close quote and parentheses max dash width, let's say 2000 pixels, close parentheses. So now we're targeting any screen between 720 pixels and 2000 pixels. We could go even lower, but this should work for our example, or we could go higher. Then open bracket. Now we're going to write hashtag slick dash mobile dash menu bracket display none semicolon bracket. All right, so basically within anything, any screen that falls in this range, we have the CSS that says to get rid of this slick mole menu. And if it doesn't work right away, it's because we have one too many semicolons. Punctuation is really important here, writing any CSS, especially mobile queries, because it can drive nuts. All right, so we got it right there, and now the mobile menu is gone. Now all we have to do is write hashtag, what was the CSS? Hashtag nav wrapper. All right, and we're gonna make that one bracket display block, which is like display yes. All right, should work. Put the semicolon in the right place. Close off the mobile query. Wait for a second. And if we got all our punctuation right, takes a little practice, now we should have a perfect nav menu. Just might overlap. If it overlaps, I'm gonna leave that on you guys to reduce your menu items or reduce the spacing in between the menu items because that's really not what this tutorial is about. But for now, we can just publish it. And now go to our homepage and refresh it, and we'll see that we trick the header into showing our main menu, which looks good because there's only four items and not the mobile menu. All right, and if you want to get that mobile menu back or make sure that like this menu goes away as you scroll down, then you can adjust the pixel numbers in our mobile query. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe again if you learn anything and to support free WordPress help. I'm Greg Nirine, and I'll talk to you soon.